Hey, it's Lee. Welcome back to another episode of Social Feed. We're kicking things off with Keith Atsopardi, a 26-year-old Maltese kickboxer who competed in the World Kickboxing Network Championship in Nice over the weekend. He fought through 12 rounds of kickboxing matches before being awarded with the World Featherlight title. <laughs> We did it! We did it! The hard work and dedication definitely paid off in the end, right Keith? Another big name has been announced for this year's Isle of MTV on the 9th of July, which is less than a month away now. Ava Max will be joining BB Rexa and Martin Garrix on the Isle of MTV stage at the Granaries. Get ready to sing along to fan favourites like Sweet But Psycho and So Am I. And do you remember this by any chance? Well, it sort of happened again. This time around, a sack of cement fell on a parked car while it was being lifted by a crane to the top of a block of flats in Aura. Luckily, no one was actually in the car at the time of the incident. And speaking of cars, what's the strangest thing you've ever seen been pulled out of the sea? The cleanup NGO Zibel had to call in a crane to pull an entire car out of the sea in Valletta during one of their cleanups over the weekend. It's neither the first nor the last cleanup they've organized. On World's Ocean Day, which was on the 8th of June, they teamed up with No to Plastic Malta and Raniero's Adventures and managed to collect over 3,000 kilos of waste. Now that is just insane when you think about it, isn't it? If you want to help out in the next cleanup, just follow their Facebook pages to find out when the next one is going down. While you're all enjoying your summer, chilling next to one of Malta's gorgeous beaches, keep this in mind. Let's keep Malta green and clean by using rubbish bins, which are provided all over Malta's beaches. And you've probably heard about local influencer Sarah Zarafa breaking up with her boyfriend last week. A post went viral a few days ago after she posted a video on her Insta story sharing the news. Many people took to the comments expressing their opinion about it. And while I don't mind differences of opinion, I do mind hate. The post had a lot of cruel comments towards Sarah, but some were quick to rise to her defense, saying that any person, no matter how many followers they have, deserves more respect than this. And if you don't have anything nice to say, then you shouldn't say it at all. What do you think about all of this? Should Maltese media write about the personal lives of local celebrities and influencers? Or should we let them deal with things in peace? Let us know what you think in the comments. And the week you've all been hearing about is finally here. One of the biggest UK comedians, Sarah O'Brien, will be performing this Saturday 22nd and Sunday 23rd of June at the Intercontinental Arena Conference Centre in St. Julian's. You can buy your tickets at showshappening.com. And that's a wrap. I've been Lee and I'll catch you on Monday for your weekly dose of Social Feed.